What's up everyone, welcome back, Patrick here. Moving on to the next question, dealing with triangles. So you are on top of a 40 meter building looking at a car at an angle of depression of 20 degrees. How far from the building is the car? Now, just as a quick note, angle of depression, remember angle of elevation or angle of depression, it always uh, originates from a horizontal line. So looking up, from a horizontal, this would be here an angle of elevation, or at this horizontal, if you're looking down, this would be the angle of depression. So if we draw a diagram here, let's say that this here is the building, okay, this is the ground, and then we have a car that is right here. So you are on top of this building, looking down at an angle of depression of 20 degrees to this car. So remember an angle of depression, as I just mentioned, it originates from a horizontal line. So you're looking down like this at the car. That means that this angle right here is 20 degrees, right? From the horizontal, not this angle, this angle right here is 20 degrees. And you're looking down at this car. And again, this building here, how high is it? 40 meters. And we're basically trying to solve for how far this car is from the building. So we're solving for this side X. Notice we're dealing with a right angle triangle. So to use this triangle here, you could take this angle, a uh, couple of different things you could do. You could either put the angle here, right? Because with the Z pattern, this angle and this angle are both the same because this horizontal and this ground are parallel sides. So then a slant line going through it means this angle and this angle are the same. So that's one way to do it. Another way to do it is you can also make this angle 70 degrees, right? Because this angle here would be 90 minus 20 because this here is a right angle. Okay, so you could have 20 here or you could have 70 here. And then depending on which angle you're looking at, which angle you're using as the reference, you can create different ratios. So if we use this angle as the reference, this would be the adjacent side this here would be the opposite side. And so which ratio uses the opposite and the adjacent? The tan ratio. So we can go tan of 20 equals the opposite side, 40, over the adjacent side, x. And we're solving for that adjacent side. Now, if you use this angle 70 degrees as the reference, well, then notice that the 40 meters then would be the adjacent side, the angle that's, or the side that's attached to the angle. And then this side here would be the opposite side, like that. And so you're still dealing with an opposite and an adjacent, so you would still use 10, so you'd go 10 of 70 equals the opposite side over the adjacent side. Okay, so two different ratios that you can set up to solve for x. Now, if we solve for x here, cross multiply, so x times tan 20 would equal 1 times 40. Then we would divide both sides by tan 20 to get the x by itself. Versus over here, if we cross multiply, the x would already be isolated itself. And you'd have tan 70 times 40 like that. Now, whichever calculation you do, 40 divided by 10, 20, or 10, 70 times 40, you would still get that same x value of 109.9. This is what meters, right? You get 109.9 meters. So whichever way you do it, that right there ends up being the distance from the car to the building.